week 10 in the NFL, week 10 in the league. Oh, things are getting, things are getting shook up. Don't adjust your, don't adjust your computer screen or whatever the fuck you're watching it on. It's, a, it's been a great week, all around great week. Um, we had a lot of people uh, show up, old stories about people putting dip in paper mache and then paper mache uh, bitches faces with with Carl True, oh, you guys, it's great stories, great stories. Uh, we got TJ on Skype, which was cool, even though he didn't show up, he was still Skyped in, I thought that was awesome. Um, all around, all around, uh, pretty awesome, pretty awesome weekend. And, as you can clearly see, by the Chauncey jersey, which hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more, got some Detroit basketball, so they lost to Golden State tonight. But it wasn't a, like a massive blowout, it was a loss, which you could... Last year, this wouldn't have happened. They would have got wrecked. I got faith. I'm pretty pumped for Detroit basketball. Oh, it's only like five games in, people keep saying. And you hear Valeni today. Valeni's just pissed because MSU's terrible. Which leads me to my next one. MSU who? Oh, MSU loses to Nebraska. Oh, but the penalties. You allowed two touchdowns in two minutes. Okay, take one of those away. Again, you allowed Nebraska, Nebraska, the Cornhuskers, they haven't been good since probably the 80s, to beat you. Just saying. Just saying. You'd give Michigan the same shit, so I don't want to hear it. Uh, next announcement, Bar Weekend uh, is this upcoming Sunday, so do not come here. We are going to start off at Bailey's, probably stay at Bailey's. Feel free to text me while I'm there. Um, I will be there at 1 o'clock. Uh, Jordan will be joining me most likely, and, you know, Matt, the usuals who show up for the 1 o'clock games. Um, we'll most likely be there for the 1 and 4s, and then we're the night game's definitely at red. So uh, if you want, that's that's the tentative schedule. I think maybe if if we get bored of 4, we can, you know, move move locations, but we'll probably end up being at Bailey's. They got a lot of TVs. They got stuffs. We know they, we know we know the people's. We know Mike's, the Bynums, even though they're probably not working. We don't know. Uh, next is, uh, I got a request for this, our beer tasting beers. I'll go over them real quick. Make it, make it kind of snappy. Uh, this is the one Chris picked out, Victory Storm King Stout Imperial. It looked like motor oil. If you like dark beers, you'll like it. Everyone who liked dark beers liked it. Of course, I did not like it because I don't like dark beers. Uh, I picked out this one. It's called Old Speckled Hen. It's an English fine ale. I only got it. I, I pick bottles out by what they say and what they look like. Um, everybody liked it. I liked it. Uh, it's a darker, kind of like a George Killian's or Killigan's or however I usually say it. Uh, next is the Wolverine Winter Lager. Um, typical winter lager. That's about it. Everyone, everyone liked that one. Uh, the Dark Horse Black Ale. Uh, also motor oil. Didn't like it. Everybody else did. Uh, it was a good, it's a good beer, and then of course I gotta get apple. Is it, if there's an apple one, I gotta get it. Best damn apple ale. I never had it. Apparently other people have. Um, it's exactly what it says. It's an ale with a hint of apple. It was all right. I mean, I, you know how I'm, a, I'm more of a cider guy, but I mean it was it was okay. And everyone, yeah, most people did not like it. Mike Jordan, I think Jordan. I know Mike did not care for it. Um, a lot of other people, but it wasn't. That wasn't. Uh, real crowd pleaser. And of course, always gotta get a green bottle. I had to take it off the, the bottle of fame here because it's a pretty cool looking bottle. It's called Lucky Buddha. Um, feel free to check it out next to the giant Corona bottle. That's its new home. It is a green bottle, but it is scrumptious, I thought. I thought it was pretty good um, considering it's green bottle and everyone for green bottle beer says it was good. People don't like it. They wouldn't drink it normally, but they said for green bottle beer, it is good beer. All right, let's move into this week's matchups. We had, uh, let, well, last week, week nines, um, the finals. Uh, I beat Mike. It was looking scary there when I went on lunch in the third quarter when this when this bum running back filling in for Matt Forte is tearing it up. And I'm just really lucky that him and Matt both did. Oh, I played Matt also in my work league, just in case no one noticed. And it, the best is that Matt and Mike played the same kicker for the New York Jets, and they both both got zero points because the kicker didn't even play that day. They had some other kicker for some reason. We never figured out why, but it was just, it was great. It was golden. I beat Matt, by the way, in work league and got most points by point two. Yeah, thank, thanks Dan Bailey for that. Uh, I beat Mike. Uh, Nubs barely, barely beat Chris by two points. Ah, oh, everyone was pulling. Nubs, you got a target on your back now. A, because 
you know, you're new, and B, because you're like the rain man of fucking fantasy football, I'm going a, I'm to a take Joe Flacco and as my first pick and then win the league. That's exactly what he's going to do, and it's scary. So Chris Loss, that's, I mean, everyone was sad about that. Uh, Jerry, by one point, ekes out a win against Rob and now stays alive. Jerry, you're almost there. You're almost clawed your way in. Rob, that hurts That hurts him going for the top of the division. Uh, next, we have Jordan and Dale. Uh, Jordan beat Dale. Uh, not really a surprise there. Uh, TJ and Chinny. Chinny had the best week of the season with like 136 points. But just kidding, TJ's team's going to just wreck this week and get like 150 some odd points. Poor Chinny. He w- any, if he would have played literally, literally anybody else in the league, he would have won this week. And I'm so sorry, Chinny. But you'll get your first win when you play Dale because that's how the world's going to work. Hopefully. Sorry, Dale. Uh, then we had Matt beat Jeff, which... Oh, no! Jeff is now in dog shirt playoffs, if I'm not mistaken, and Matt is now in regular playoffs. <gasps> Our two-time dog shirt is going for his first playoff run, and he could make it. I like his team. I think Matt has a decent team. He's got a scrappy team. Scrappy team. All right, let's take a look at our uh, matchups this week. Uh, I'm playing Chris. Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, Chris is looking to stay in the hunt. Um... I, I'm just looking to stay out of the first round bye, which I got a super competitive division, so I need Mike and Derek to lose, and I need to win. Sorry, Chris. I don't want you to lose, but nah, damn. Sorry, bro. I got to beat you this week. Then you can then you can start winning again. Uh, then we have Mike and Jerry. Um, uh, am I rooting for Mike? I don't know who I'm rooting I'm pretty sure I'm rooting for Mike because Jerry can't keep winning. He's already way too high. Uh, but... I got Jerry winning this one because Mike's on a slump lately, especially, I don't know, his team's just not looking good lately, it's not performing, it's not his fault, uh, but it's just his team is just not performing, and Jerry's on a hot streak, and when you know Jerry's rolling the dice, he's rolling the dice, he's making it, making it hot, rolling them craps. Uh, Jeff and Jordan, uh, that should be a good matchup, I'll come back to that, and Rob versus Nubs, Rob versus Nubs is going to be pretty sweet, um, and our last one, or last two, um, TJ versus Dale, uh, TJ should get a win, uh, and Chinny versus Matt, Matt k- trying to get a win and continue to stay in the playoffs now, uh, Chinny's still looking for another win, um, or a win, yeah, Chinny's looking for a win, uh, but, you know, it'd be a good matchup, uh, my marquee matchup of the week is gotta be, we're gonna go from the west, it's usually in the east, uh, Rob versus Nubs, and I'm taking Nubs. Why? Because of Nubs magic. Rain Man magic. I got Nubs beating Rob. Uh, my other pick'em is uh, Jordan over Jeff. Um, I just, Jordan's, uh, Jordan, you don't have Julio, though. I completely forgot about that. Uh, I gotta still take Jordan, because his team looks like his, you know, a steady team that just gets wins. I gotta take, I gotta take him. Uh, next, before we move into the Sunday schedule... Mike is now a Panthers fan. It is official. He's going to get a t-shirt. Get, get a jersey, goddammit. The NFC South is well represented in the league now. Uh, Mike has officially jumped ship. He is no longer a Lions fan. And he's all about them them Panthers. Carolina Panthers. Uh, I love it. I love it. I love the diversity. Can someone, Chinny, give up on the Lions and just be a Vikings fan? Because that would be great. Just, just be, No one wants a Bears fan. I don't want a Bear, but I want one more. One well, more in the north. It'd be great. Come on. Come on. Someone someone, give up on the Lions and be a Vikings fan, please. All right. Let's go into uh, uh, this week's matchups. Uh, oh, the 1 o'clock. Oh, can't wait. Oh, Lions versus Packers. I'm scared because if the Packers lose... I mean, Colin Coward was right. My team is smoking mirrors, which is just like my fantasy team. All smoking mirrors, apparently. Uh... Packers should win. Should should win this. Well, I I'm just hoping they win it. Uh, the last two weeks have gotten me scared, but then again, it's the Lions, and I have to keep remembering that it's the Lions, and they're awful. But then Martha Ford went in there and gave them a little pep talk, and I oh man, I I won't be able to live this down if we lose. So I'm really, I need, this needs to be a win week. Uh, then we have a new addition to uh, the next one is the Panthers versus the Titans. Yes. Uh, Mike, the Titans fucked the Saints last week, and they're going to fuck your team this week. Go Titans. Bishop Skanky, can you smell the stank? 
Uh, Saints versus Skins. Uh, Dale, your heart should be torn, right? Saints and Kirk Cousins, I miss you. Oh, no, you're going to root for the Saints, but we'll all be Skins fans. Uh, Falcons are on bye, and we move to TJ's adopted team, not his primary team, and also the Sunday night game, Cardinals Seahawks. Oh, that should be awesome. Should be awesome. Um, I think it's in the clink, too. Oh, that should just, that should be just wonderful. Pretty excited for that. Uh, but that about wraps it up this week, guys. Uh, again, text me if you, uh, if you, if you want to know where we are, but we, again, you have our schedule. Uh, above all, go Pack Go, fuck the Seahawks, and the Lions this week, and for the love of God, Return of the Lynch, keep, let's start a streak. Alright guys, take it easy.